a group of students at the University of New Mexico have developed a nonprofit service organization to help better the community. Good morning, New Mexico, and welcome to UNM News. I'm Brianna Mortensen. And I'm Alex Mihailovich. UNM News scored a behind the scenes look on what it takes to film a game. We'll also be exploring a local Albuquerque magazine and see how it is working to not only make a difference in the city, but also highlight its rich culture, diversity, and entertainment. All this coming up and more on UNM News. Apparently, not everyone's a Lobo. Enrollment is down at the University of New Mexico. This may sound like a bad thing, but part of the reason the number is dropping is because students are successfully completing their degrees and graduating, according to a report at the Albuquerque Journal. A higher graduation rate will definitely put a dent in the student body, but a new program for New Mexico residents might change that. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham recently announced plans for a scholarship that will cover the expenses left over from federal grants and the lottery scholarship, making higher education more affordable for all students who are also in-state residents. Last Thursday night, President Trump found his Twitter account temporarily deactivated. For 11 minutes, President Trump's Twitter account remained deactivated last week. Social media exploded with mixed emotions about the event. It didn't take long for social media to become filled with memes and jokes about the incident, even catching the attention of news organizations like the New York Times and the Washington Post. While this Twitter phenomenon ignited laughter from most, it also made others question Twitter's ethics regarding privacy. Since the incident, Twitter has launched an internal investigation. The UNM Wind Symphony, made up of mostly graduate students, enters into their fall concert season with their performance of Venetian Spells, featuring classical music with a modern twist. We talk to students about their thoughts on these pieces they've been working on for months. We're playing a bunch, like, I feel like our repertoire is like always so varied, which is like really nice because um, it, there's like so much that the audience can listen to and relate to. I think, I hope. <laughs> As the sun went down on Wednesday evening, the young musicians, uniformly dressed in black, prepared for showtime. Here, it being almost entirely grad students is fantastic because you're surrounded by these amazing musicians that push you to be a better musician yourself. And so being surrounded by that all the time and hearing how incredible these players are really pushes me and enhances any musical experience I've had so far. The Wind Symphony offers professional training for students who want to make a full-time career out of their music. The arts have had such a profound impact on their lives, and they love sharing this with others. I just think it's like super beneficial for anyone to go see live music, regardless of what it is, because it's just really fun, and I don't know, I just think that like music is just like really powerful in any capacity. This is Brianna Mortensen reporting for UNM News. If you want to get involved, you can visit the Serve ABQ Facebook page. I'm Brianna Wilson reporting. I'm Brianna Wilson reporting from the University of New Mexico. And I'm Brianna Mortensen. Have a nice day, New Mexico.